This is the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. Food prices are down from their record highs in February, but prices are still higher than they were a year ago. Many experts think the political fires that burned across North Africa and the Middle East started last year in the wheat fields of Russia. A combination of heat, drought, and wildfires during the summer of 2010 destroyed one third of Russia's winter wheat crop. World food prices rose after Russia halted wheat exports. Shen Jen Fan is head of the International Food Policy Research Institute in Washington. He links higher food prices to the uprisings in Egypt and other Arab countries. Definitely, it is one of the factors that really caused the、uh, Arab Spring. The last time food prices jumped was in 2008. At that time. Egypt was also among the countries where food riots and demonstrations took place. Riyath Nakshbendi is a professor of the Department of International Business at American University in Washington. He agrees that food prices played a part in the Arab revolutions. At the end of the day,、uh, uh, the most the most The、uh, uh, crucial uh, reason for the for the Arab Spring is is basically economic.、Uh, so consequently, when a citizen cannot have enough money to to purchase food and、uh, feed his family, definitely that that will create kind kind of、uh, of upset with the system. Professor Nakshbendi says an event like climate change can affect food production in many countries. But in a globally connected economy, even an event in one country can be felt worldwide. Something happening in Thailand is going to have an impact on on、uh, on rice export to other countries. Cornell University economist Chris Barrett says another problem is that gains in farm production have slowed. What we're seeing right now is the the bitter harvest of very poor investments made in agricultural research over really the last 20 years. Shenzhen Fan says the return of high prices in 2011 offers some important lessons. If investment in food production does not increase, he says, then the world will continue to see high prices. Food price hikes. Or will come more often and more frequent. Second, food price obviously will remain very high. He says food supplies are not growing enough to meet the demand of seven billion people. The world is expected to add two billion more by the middle of the century, and people in emerging economies like China are eating more meat, which requires more animal feed. But in 2011, for the first time, the United States used more maize or corn for biofuels than for animal feed. The good news is that high prices always encourage farmers to grow more. A record harvest in 2011 is helping to ease food prices in many parts of the world, but not all. And that's the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. I'm Karen Leggett.